From the onset, the Nazi party were obsessed with the world of the occult. They scoured the globe in search of the weapons that would enable them to conquer the world and build their 1,000-year Reich. They turned the planet inside out, looking for something ancient, something the Nazi elite called the most powerful weapon. A weapon that would instill such awe that it would cause the entire world to surrender overnight. And then, suddenly, during the Second World War, the Nazis achieved a massive leap in technology, so great that many have questioned where this Nazi science originated. Nobody in the world had technology like Nazi Germany. From the first jet aircraft to advancements in innumerable facets of science and engineering, the Nazis had no equal. Thousands of scientists with bottomless budgets across the globe were working furiously day and night for years to create new war machines. And yet the Nazis had not only developed one device, they had developed dozens. They were also miles ahead in every area, including genetic manipulation, mass hypnosis, and unfathomable experiments into the very nature of time and space itself. Legends of the strange and powerful force known as Vril abounded, and soon there were reports of amazing flying machines that could outmaneuver and outgun anything in the world. Orbs of light that could cause a mechanical drive to malfunction, even fall out of the sky. Shortly thereafter, the Nazis unleashed the world's first unmanned rocket drones, which fell upon Great Britain in such force that it devastated a world power. During this period, hundreds of pilots across the world witnessed what is the most prolific series of UFO encounters ever recorded. Hitler knew well what was in store for the world, and that knowledge carried his unwavering conviction that the Nazis would achieve victory. He promised his people a series of weapons so advanced, so powerful, that it would enable the Nazi prophecy of world domination to come true well into the next millennia. But war is never fair. Many say that the outcome of the Second World War would have been very different if only the Nazis had a few more months to assimilate their discoveries. When the war was finally over, the United States brought over more than 1,000 German scientists, technicians, and engineers under the highly classified Operation Paperclip. Among them was rocket scientist Werner von Braun, who, with other former Nazis, provided information and technological advancements that would propel the U.S. space program on a fast track to the moon. But where did the Nazis get this knowledge? Von Braun said more than once, we had help. This is the real forbidden history. This is the story of the Nazis and the aliens from outer space.